Uh, my troop has been heavily involved in the, the project uh, of Route Trident. Essentially, we are working in close conjunction with uh, engineer call signs who are themselves supervising civilian, local civilian contractors. Um, the idea being that it's their road and uh, we want them to build as much as possible. The intelligence we have suggests that uh, stopping the Trident build is a uh, surgeon's main effort in this area uh, and that's not something they've been able to do. Um, the Viking is really the ideal vehicle to provide uh, protection for the engineer design simply because of its mobility. Um, we have the armoured capacity to protect them from close quarters um, but also the manoeuvrability to push out into depth and really take the fight to the enemy. I mean, we were, we were all quite dubious at first because we're a Challenger, a Challenger 2 regiment, um, so we had to convert onto Viking. Um, but it, it's proved to be a, a very effective vehicle out here. Um, it can be used as a uh, troop carrying vehicle. Um, we can carry uh, five, pay, you know, five personnel per vehicle, um, which, is, which we have done. Uh, also, it's a good uh, mobile fighting platform. So, for example, within a troop, we can either have a, um, a 7.62 uh, general purpose machine gun mounted on top or a 50 cal uh, machine gun mounted on top as well. Um, we also carry uh, our own snipers as well, so we've proved to be quite effective um, in that role. I think uh, the, the Viking has it, been quite key to the, to the progress, what they've had. Um, all, all the information that we've been given from everyone that's involved in the, in the Trident project is, uh, for example, Mastiffs and, and, and Jackals, they can provide protection for, for the build, but they can't get, uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of ground which they can't cross, whereas the Viking being an armoured vehicle on tracks, you know, it's quite mobile, and we can, you know, we can stay local and provide protection that way, and we've also pushed in depth uh, to provide assistance where as need be, whereas, um, you know, Mastiffs and Jackals can't do that. So it has been, uh, it has been a key vehicle in the, in the progress of the Trident. Yeah, it's, it's, it is quite uh, difficult, especially with the heat, when you've got um, full kit on, body armour, helmet, everything. Um, for us, we've got Adroot Trident towards the end of the tour. Um, the first bit being quite quiet, to be honest, compared to what we've got now. Um, so we've got the app climatised to the heat a lot better. Um, but the contacts themselves, uh, you're never going to get used to them. Uh, the force protection, um, we leave it to them, really. They form a, a steel ring round us sort of thing and hopefully we can just concentrate on the build itself.